pretty sure it's going to abort, but we'll find out, shall we? Oh, it's actually gone across. Oh, it's going. It's going around the next roundabout. And... Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we are here in Swindon and we're going to be looking at the Magic Roundabout. Now the Magic Roundabout is very much one of a kind here in Swindon. It is basically five small roundabouts that all go the correct way, going around one massive roundabout that goes the wrong way. Or you could think of it as five mini roundabouts with just little bits of road in between each one, which I think is what the Tesla has to think of it as. Now, currently the Tesla can't do roundabouts, so we're really not expecting it to do much here. But I'm hoping that we'll get something interesting out of it. Maybe it'll do one of it. Maybe if I set it going the wrong way around the roundabout, all the way around the outside, it will flow around the outside. I'm not sure, but we're going to try for a 10 or 20 minutes or so to get something working here on the Magic Roundabout, and we're going to do it at loads of different ways. So if you want to see more videos like this hit the thumbs up button it is currently 5 a.m on sunday morning so as you can see it is really really quiet this is actually the most cars too i've seen in a while first off we actually need to get the car on autopilot to do this but sadly on this road there's no central lines and as you can see there's cars parked on both sides even on the the double yellow line so when i get close enough uh, to this car in front of me here it oh actually no it is going around it i just tried this a second ago and it refused to go around that car but now it's it's oh, oh my god wow it just slammed on that wasn't me it just slammed on that was really strange all right here we go we're at our first roundabout what is the car going to think of it it is going across and yet yeah, as soon as it goes over one of the roundabouts as you saw there the car just aborted uh, and, and turned itself off, off which is a real shame but that that kind of is what we were expecting from this um loads of people wanted me to do this but this is if i'm being honest not gonna work because the car is definitely not made for this let's just try it from a different angle shall we and go around it this way no again as soon as i put it on you can see that it is just aborting straight away it's not having any of it the only way i can really do this video is by trying to enter the magic roundabout from every direction so we tried that one over here let's try this one over here and see what the car thinks of it again i'm pretty sure it's going to abort but we'll find out shall we oh it's actually gone across this is this is better than it's ever done before oh it's going it's going around the next roundabout and no there you go as you saw just aborted last second there right at the end and it wasn't having any of it while we're on the roundabout let me just go around it and show you what you can basically do so you can go around the outside of the roundabout that's uh, around all of the five little roundabouts like this and you can go around them in this direction however if you want to and this is where it gets really nuts you could just do a full swing on one of these little roundabouts like this and then go around the, the big roundabout in the middle the other way around. Yeah, you can go around it then the other way, which is which is really strange. And that is where the magic roundabout gets its crazy name. Okay, let's try and enter it from this side of the road and see if it does any better. Are we going to have better luck from this angle? I'm, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we're going to get the same reaction everywhere we go uh, on this roundabout. Let's see. So, across the first one successfully great job no again as soon as we get across that first roundabout it just aborts it aborts straight away and i don't think we're going to get much action here on the magic roundabout if i'm being totally honest let's try it from this side i'm actually going to go on to it and indicate really early and let's see if that makes any difference at all to what the car does no again it just aborts and it actually was just going straight across uh, the roundabout so it didn't even take the left turn as we requested uh, it was just going straight across it okay here we go this is going to be our final entry and it's going to be from that roundabout over there but first of all we've got to, we've got to get ourselves over there it is such a strange roundabout and i totally understand why so many people get very very scared of it but really it works very well and i'm so so intrigued to see how the car is actually going to react to this and if it's if it's going to be able to do it well if this is going to be the pinnacle the downfall of full self drive who knows i i have not got a clue if i'm being totally honest again as we enter here i'm going to indicate left and i'm hoping that the car is going to take me left here we have got navigation on which should send us down here left down to gorse hill but i'm intrigued to know is it actually going to do it or not i'm going to bring it down to 10 miles an hour here no the car again just aborting actually straight away having absolutely none of it and i think everyone that shows 
what it can do. It, it, it can't, it really can't do anything else just yet on the Magic Roundabout or any roundabout for that matter. And we've got to wait for the next big update for any of it to change and for hopefully autopilot to work around roundabouts. Because honest to God, if that happen if we could go across a roundabout like this uh like this one coming up for example not even the magic roundabout it would save so much hassle and it would make it so much better but currently as soon as you get to a roundabout uh oh it doesn't abort wait what it's oh my god this is actually doing this roundabout oh so close the last roundabout actually really surprised me. So let's just give this one a go. So this is, oh my God, <laughs> I didn't expect it to take me to this right-hand lane. So this is a big roundabout. It is a laned roundabout and I'm hoping it's gonna do well. I'm hoping it's gonna take us across it. There we go. All right, here we go. We can go through the light. It is green. I actually have the sat nav on to take us into the retail park over there. But no, again, as soon as you get onto a roundabout, as you can see, the car just just aborts. It's pretty much, I think, I'm pretty sure as soon as you go across one and it realizes it's a roundabout, it now just aborts straight away, which is really a shame, but it obviously makes sense with the current uh, limited limitations of the autopilot system. All right, well, it's time for me to get some breakfast at McDonald's. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget, drive safe.